And of course, now we're going to turn to talking about the FY18 budget. The board's working hard on refining the budget before it's adopted in April. Jay, where do we stand right now with the budget discussions? Well, you know, this is one of the big things we do every year. We deal with development issues and projects, and we deal with the budget on an annual basis. Local governments are required to balance the budget, unlike the federal government. Uh, and this is a very intensive couple of months for us. Um, the manager proposed his budget in February. Uh, we had to, at that point, with uh, very little lead time, decide what to advertise as the maximum real estate tax rate we could consider. And we took his recommendation and, and adopted something that was two pennies higher than now. We don't know what we'll adopt in the end. But we've been going through very intensive budget work sessions with the various departments. Uh, we had our public budget hearing, heard from the community last week uh, on the expense side, uh, mostly people asking uh, for new services or def, you know, pr to the protection of existing services. We had a public hearing on the tax rate, um, what people thought we should be setting that real estate tax rate at. And now uh, we're in the last couple of weeks where board members will be trying to digest all that, talk among ourselves, decide uh, where we want to set the budget for the coming fiscal year, which starts July 1. Now, the manager did come back after presenting the initial budget. You asked him to come back with a series of optional yeah. cuts to make. Yeah. What were some of the things that came up on that list, and how has that affected the, the yeah. discussion? Yeah, it's a good question. I mean, honestly, anytime you're advertising an increase in the rate, you, know, you don't want to increase the tax rate. You don't want to increase the, the burden unless you can justify to yourself that you've looked as hard as you can and the staff and the departments have looked as hard as they can at finding ways to reduce unnecessary costs or, or cover, deal with some duplication of service or find more efficiencies. I mean, that's part of our job. And we work hard to push. So does the F Citizen Fiscal Affairs Advisory Commission. So when we advertise the potential, and that potential increase was specifically for two things. One penny the manager is recommending go to Metro because we have a significant new cost that is new and the second is enrollment in the schools we have a significant growth of you know close to a thousand kids I believe this year is projected as well so with that um, we we decided that we also needed to ask him once again to go give us a set of optional cuts that we would look at very hard to determine if there was something that we could do without and so he gave us close to um, really seven to uh, maybe it's $11 million in optional reductions. He is not recommending those, but he is saying in response to us, sure. if I had to, these are the things I would reduce. And now it's up to us to you know, consider whether any of those are acceptable cuts. Mm -hmm. Well, some things you hear, sometimes you hear from residents that Arlington County has this series of budget reserves. Well, uh -huh. Why don't we just use that instead of increasing the tax rate. What do you yeah. say to that? Well, it's a complicated issue, but the bottom line is some pe uh, what is a reserve? It's not just a rainy day fund. Um, what a lot of people call reserves are really earmarked capital funds. You know, we have a commercial real estate assessment on commercial property. By state law, it's dedicated to transportation. You collect that. As it grows before the projects are paid for, it might grow, you know, and there might be money sitting in there, 20 million, 50 million, 100 million dollars as big projects are planned down the road. You can't use that money to balance this budget. It's earmarked and restricted. Our stormwater fund, our affordable housing fund, there are a number of funds that are segregated. Now that said, there are also funds that the bond rating agencies require us to have should there be an extraordinary crisis exactly. so that we qualify for the lowest interest rates available on the planet. If we didn't have these reserve funds, which are rarely, if ever, touched, uh, and you hope you never touch them, if you don't have them, you don't get the interest rates we get. So we're having a work session, uh, in fact, soon, to better understand all these funds and to see if there's anywhere we can squeeze. 
But good fi financial management suggests you need these funds, whether for your bond rating, whether for your capital projects. And our question to the manager will be, is there any flexibility in here? Do we have anywhere where we could shift some of these dollars? Because once again, these expenses for Metro, for the continuing growth in the school system, these are things that have to be done, correct? Yeah, yes, those two extraordinary needs the manager identified are extraordinary and they are uh, important for us to, to find the funds for. Mm -hmm. Now, Ali, will there be another opportunity for the public to weigh in or we had uh, the public meetings or? You know, this is Arlington. <laughs> there's always, honestly, there's always, we're getting emails, dozens of them a day uh, from people who have a point of view, want to tell us either about a concern or um, uh, support for a particular project that may be in that manager's proposed optional cuts or uh, the additional money for the schools or for Metro, they like it or they don't like it. And we, we're hearing from everyone and we hear through email, we hear through conversations, we have meetings set up with larger groups of people. Um, the public budget hearing is over, so that optional uh, you know, way of reaching us is over, but um, you, know, you can share your, your views any number of ways up until the 22nd when we adopt the budget, April 22nd. Okay, and so that date will be coming up quickly and of course we'll We'll be talking about that again next month, next I'm month. sure. Next month, see how it turns out. All right, thank you.